This morning we had our grade 2 class come in for a lesson about I Am Josephine, an interactive read aloud followed by a synthesizing activity. We read the book aloud and we talked about each non-fiction element in the book. So Josephine talks about how she's a human being, what makes us a human being. And it was interesting to see how some of the students really had to think about what makes us human, what makes us different than other things. It was interesting to see how the students were able to transfer their knowledge from I know what a human being is to well what makes me different. At school, I see a lot of students who are really proud of their cultural background, and we really try to celebrate it in the school board. We have lots of different books that show students their own faces back to them, making sure that their home culture and the way they look is reflected in all the books that they see. It makes students' sense of self-worth increase a great deal. Diversity is the world that they're growing up in, and even more so the world that they're going to join. So it's really important to show them that outside world through the lens of tolerance and equity and, and just supporting each other. The students are more connected now than they ever have been before. They all have devices. A lot of students from grade four and upwards have a mobile phone. So that opportunity needs to be approached with compassion and tolerance and an open mind. So read alouds are really familiar to students. They've all had books read aloud to them, most of them by their parents, if not their teachers. So students are very familiar with that. It's a very comfortable place to start talking about equity, diversity, different things in our world. A picture book is an easy way to start that conversation because there's not only are they comfortable with the format, but it's nice and visual for the students as well. An interactive read aloud is not just sitting and reading the book anymore, it's making sure that the students are able to interact with the text that you're reading. When we talk about being a good citizen, we talk about being kind to one another, all of our character traits, acting with integrity, being responsible for ourselves, treating others with respect, and being a good global citizen just expands those concepts outwards. So making sure that whenever we meet anyone, we're treating them with respect, we're making sure that we're aware of other people's differences and doing our best to accept everyone for who they are.